welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to talk about my new website. I revamped my website and I'll show you how I did it and maybe give you some inspiration to you for you to do it the same. This video is sponsored by Squarespace because that's the hosting company I'm using for my website. So let's get into it. Let's get on my screen here. Okay, so let's do this. I'm going to go on my screen and let's record and I'll talk about how I first look at my website and then kind of talk about how I did it. Okay, so let's do it. Natalie callwoodart.com And here it is. Ta-da! <laughs> so, what I changed first was up here the banner put a newer painting up i put this lovely carousel up here with some of my favorite paintings i did last year which are on sale on my website then i added these buttons so this one goes directly to my store Let's go back and then we have this button that goes to my society six for all my lovely prints as you can see there's some uh, digital designs but also my paintings i haven't added some uh, all of my paintings yet but you know that's a future project <laughs> anyway so these are where you can get prints and patterns then let's get back well no twice back three times back and the last button here is metal art prints this is actually my displayed site where you can buy metal prints there's only four seven because they're very picky about the designs they have to be perfect they can be blurry or whatever they for their even though it's not that high a resolution you need for them but they're very picky so that's why there's seven on there i'm trying to add some in the future but like i said it's a lot of work to make the designs and then it's a lot of work to try to please them so i'm guessing i'm going to uh get one because you get like 50 percent off when you buy your own print so and you, i think you make money too from it i don't know anyway we're not talking about this plate right now we're talking about my website so i will eventually order one and then we can do a review okay now we go back down here there is a lovely also carousel of my uh the instagram feed so we'll, we'll, okay so when you click on it it, go, it brings you right to Instagram, which is cool. Let's go back. Get out of there. And down here is my little a little snippet of my bio. And down here is my YouTube channel uh, intro, uh, YouTube channel trailer, my old one. And down here is all my my links and my phone number, etc. If you want to drop a line go ahead <laughs> so this is the first page as you can see it goes on here i think it is on a timer i can't remember so now let's see up here so there's another print on demand button which goes to this page where you can just click on each of these icons and it goes to my web bubble store which are also some of my artwork prints on here, like the tulip one, the yellow one, the, um, the Memphis style design, that one. Those are originals. Some of them are, the other ones are digital. And the travel poster one. So, so let's get out of that. Go back to the website. Then there's T Public, where I have mostly of my more fun digital designs. There's no original paintings on here at all. 
it's just my it's just a fun way place for me to design cute little designs for t-shirts and stickers so there yeah there's that and then the third one is society six again that's the same one as before it's another way of getting to the society six page and let's get back to the front to the home page and then moving on to the store this goes back to the store store page you can click on one of these then you can check out the paintings there you go let's go back then we have a gallery these are some of the paintings I did last year and digital paintings as well and then here it just tells you that you just need to go back to the art store section and it will get you back to the how you buy my art the next one is the about page with the mail list then here this one is about my Skillshare class and if there's any in-person classes coming up but not yet I need to change this to the newest class I haven't done that yet this actually starts showing a video in the back but it takes a minute to load but it's not necessarily necessary you can just go go on sign up and it goes directly to the class and then we got the contact page just you can drop me a line and then the last one is the blog page so this one blog there you go so this is welcome to my blog page where you can get behind the scenes look a behind the scenes look via my instagram and youtube channel so here you have another instagram feed it's a little slow on my ipad i'm sure it's better on the website on the desktop and here is my one of my latest videos youtube channel so you can just click youtube and then you go right to my youtube channel the latest video now we're back in youtube we don't want to do that <laughs> and go back to chrome there and there's my channel trailer again and i'm going to in the future put some articles in here as well not just you um, instagram and youtube and over here are my buttons facebook you can go to my facebook page get some info there what i'm up to and my instagram which we already looked at and my youtube channel which we also already checked yeah so let's go back to the home page so the main thing i, I changed is the heather i made this carousel up here i changed that put these buttons up I put this up you know I just made it more colorful and more up-to-date before it was more of a art wall art um, focused website now it's a little more it's a, there's different things on here so what I used is Squarespace so I'm just gonna so as I said the sponsor of this website is Squarespace so there will be a link below check it out and see if you like it and if you do then you can sign up with them if not then you don't have to worry about it so okay so here's your squarespace page so here let's go to browse templates let's go to art see what they come up with I'm going to just um, hit all the things that apply to my business. Okay. Now go next. Let's do that next. 
So best templates to match are these ones, they, they think. But actually, I don't like any of them. <laughs> so the way I did it was I went on my favorite artists and creators websites and kind of saw because I knew they had Squarespace because they usually talk about it on their YouTube channel. So I went on their website and saw what they have and then decided on the template that they had and worked with a Fiverr freelancer to try to get that um, same template. I was with my own artwork and my own sort of style, but that's what I went by because these are none of them are the ones I have. Because I like, like I have it, you can see all just in the home page and from there you can go to different pages because that way people don't have to go look for stuff where is what this way you can see where you buy my stuff and the prints and all that so yeah way easier because that's my main goal is you know to promote my artwork okay so this is how you could get to templates i'm gonna log in Let me just uh, show you how you can just move around. I'm not going to give you a tutorial of it. I'm just showing you how easy it is to use Squarespace. And you can do it too, because after I worked with this person, I kind of figured out myself how to do it, because it was not a very pleasant experience with the fiber person, because they were in a different time zone, and they didn't understand what I was saying. And I'm thinking there was more than one person involved in it, because it usually you know how they are they have more than one project and yeah so far i didn't have any pleasant experiences with fiverr and i'm probably not going to use them anymore i mean yes if you want to spend a lot of money you can probably get somebody really good on there too but that's why i'm not going by, uh, on fiverr for somebody that have, you know cost me a lot of money i'm deciding to go i'm going on fiverr because i don't i have a very low budget but anyway okay so now we're in my dashboard and as you can see here on the left there's pages design commerce marketing schedule etc so we to and there's an edit button up here so let's go to pages then all the pages i have come up so let's go to the print on demand page there then it, you go edit and then you can edit the section. So it's edit section, and then you can add things that way. So let's go, you can change, you can go to background, colors, see that's the background, colors, the color scheme you want. I kept mine the way it was. You can make it smaller, bigger, back to small and here you can align and you can center it or you can move it to the side it's up to you and then I just here added a gallery see it says gallery and that's then I went it's just when you go to the plus button up here and then you can just add pictures to it from your computer now let's go done because we're not changing anything and that's pretty much for any of the pages. Let's go to, I should change the art class, but I don't have my link right now, so I can't do that. Let's go back to the home. And it's really super easy. You just, when you get used to it, it's even better on, this is on my iPad, but it's, it works even better on your desktop because you have more room in it. It's just easier to click on it with your mouse than with your hand. I find it anyway. Edit, you can see you click on one of these, you can then you go here and then you can move that around. You can add a section so you can put in something in between.
We can change the text. We can change this. You can delete it. Those red button is delete over here. Those dots, the right one is delete. But I don't want to do that. What you also can do is see how it looks on your phone. So this is the phone view. You can go back to desktop. And then here you can play with this. Again, you can take the whole thing out. Yeah, so you see if you double click, you can change a whole bunch of stuff on here. Design, the way the layout is. This, yeah. You need to stop playing with this, you never get done. <laughs> it is actually a lot of fun. And there's so many YouTube tutorials, like you don't really need somebody from Fiverr to tell you. It's just, I'm not very patient and I have a hard time finding it out myself. So, but yeah, if you have a YouTube video right beside it here, split screen, and you do it here, you'll probably be fine. It's really super easy. That's why I love Squarespace. So I really recommend Squarespace. I know some lots of people love, um, uh, what's it called? Um, not not Mulgo Daddy or but that's I can't I can't remember what it's called the other one but it's too complicated for me I tried that but I yeah I'm lost so the easier the better it's just like a puzzle you put it together <laughs> I can get that done if I had to do any coding nah. even of course you can do that yourself too if you want you can start from scratch on this but why why bother I like how it is so let's get out of this. And there you go, that's my old design. Let's go back to my website. So as you can see, here's my website. Please go check it out. I'm going to put the link on here and down there. So go check out my website and tell me what you think. Maybe I inspired you to make a nice website. Like you don't have to be an artist to have a website. You can have whatever. You could be a blogger. You can do a website on here. You can do um you could do have a website just for being a mom or i don't know anything yeah. websites are for anybody you could have a travel website i don't know um you're documenting your life website so it's really good to, for a place to um collect emails and collect contacts you can be in touch with people that are like-minded like you are so if you go on my website please sign up for my newsletter so and i will send out once a month not once a week, only just once a month. Uh, things that happen that ha are happening in my life, like new Skillshare classes or a new YouTube video that is you know specific to the season, maybe a new interesting project I'm working on, stuff like that. So I'm not gonna bombard you with sales emails. The only time I will put out a sales email with integrating the new newsletter. Is when I launch a new um, series or something but that doesn't happen that often so you don't have to worry about that but it would be great to have some interaction with people that uh, yeah interested are and are interested in what I'm doing especially on YouTube okay so I hope this video was helpful for you get inspired to maybe make your own website it's really not that hard and it's kind of a lot of fun you just have to have a little bit of patience sometimes i don't have a lot of that so i'm sure you do okay so make sure you watch that video up here okay see you in the next one